Jamaican drug lord Noristido Nembard has lost another appeal against the state. On May 4, 2020 the appeal court denied Nembard's motion for leave to appeal a decision against him. Nembard, along with Liebert Romkaren, were designated drug kingpins under the U.S. Foreign Narcotics Kingpin Designation Act in 2004. After fighting extradition for four years Nembard was extradited to the U.S. in 2008 along with four other Jamaicans Rob Roy Williams, Glenford Williams, Vivian Daly, and Herbert Henry, a former police corporal. Jamaican international drug kingpin Liebert Romkaren was sentenced to nearly 37 years in prison for conspiring to smuggle cocaine into the United States in 2018. He led a huge, sophisticated smuggling ring from Colombia to Jamaica between 1998 and 2004. Romkaren had his sentence reduced by entering into a plea deal and ratting. me again the great great one more great countryman remember to like share and subscribe yo them two brother yeah along with mr presley bingham i wanted a brother they must call him Ry rogers a them money around jamaica remember me tell you that it seems like Nemhard link with Mr. Presley and him also link with Liebert Ramcharan. Now it seems like Nimhard like him talk on them on them. It look like him take a deal. I rattled them on them. My thing is, how the hell them fly underneath the Jamaican radar like that? Yo, that shit is amazing. Ah, uh, I have conflicted feelings about this because <laughs> I liked what the Justice Minister did back in two. 2010, I think 2010, 2011, where she dismissed the case against Mr. Presley Bingham because he was already charged before and it's like a double jeopardy. So I think she was on the right, uh, on the right page with that. Like I say, when I retell my story, but also highlight and analyze certain things. Now, it seems like Ramcharan, feed me and get called up. And that's all them, them link him. Now, Ramcharan, it look like, like I said, other vloggers do things on it. I mean, no sir, P bust the story. But, like me say, me I give my anal my uh, views. Ramcharan and Nimhard give up mad information. Remember me tell you that. Them give up mad information. Now, wanna see the big boss with Abna Jamaica right there? With the nearly 4 million US. And what not, what not. Like cool. Presley, Bingham, he might one of the smartest man, but all right now, he is a person of interest. The money we him catch with a 600 million Jamaican, you know, 400 million from a billion. Can you imagine? What kind of message is that sending? But I don't want to feel like Jesus. Ah, uh, like I said, Presley in the shadows and uh, 
I don't want to feel like I support criminal, you know. But I just said, do your thing personally. Because him know say the whole of them corrupt. And the whole of them are blow out thief. So, he look upon himself and say, yo, I have one life to live. I have an opportunity to make some money. I might as well make a bag of money and live my life and take care of my family. By all means necessary. Some people might choose to live for them one. I kill people and do all sorts of effort, but him up on a different thing. I one of the smartest drug dealer me ever see. I don't lie. He's smarter than the show I pass to them. He's smarter than enough, enough man. He's smart. With that said, I know I sound crazy now. But with that said, I, I, I am against extradition. But I am also for extradition. That confusing, isn't it? But let me explain. I feel like we should have been able to deal with our own problems. I, I don't feel like the FBI should be in Jamaica and, and stuff like that. But, stick up in. We have to be realistic and we know Jamaica with the corruption. There is no way we can control these guys. And and that's the problem when we have with this. Because these guys with that kind of money, can you imagine the amount of power they wield in Jamaica and these other countries where the people them poor? In America it's different and England and them place there. Scotland Yard, yeah, I gotta take it down. Our Uncle Sam. I got, I got hunt you all over the world but a country like Jamaica that to me is a national security threat and we don't have the means and the hope to deal with these things now I want to touch upon another point because I did some research by Mr. Nimhart and they they took his assets. So with this I went to the Jamaica Assets Recovery Team, which is a part of the financial uh, ministry. And when I looked at the news, it I was flabbergasted. The money they're taking away from people down in Jamaica is from the regular working people. There's two cases there when police went to somebody's house to for some other reason and they went in there and saw two hundred and fifty thousand dollar Jamaican. And them grab on from it. And they did the same thing for a young lady. And took her money. And I, I think those were the two only cases highlighted with the Jamaica asset recovery team. And I was so pissed off because the real criminals them were have the big money and have things lined up have things set up they're not going after those people and that's the problem with Jamaica let's go as we move along them mania them is a a torn in the US side well a couple of them get fling with 
car, them get extradited and thing. But I think the big man, Mr. Bigam, him slippery. I don't know if them catch him yet or I'm turning himself, but the amount of money them man they are run with dad. It's hard for really track them man there. Like I said, I have mixed feelings about this. Uh, what do I get out of this? It shows that enough man say them are a rat and them are a rat. And you know, getting mixed up and caught up with these kind of things you have to be ready to deal with the consequences because remember you know once you start the things say from Jamaica to America or Canada or certain place it has become an international crime and with these our first world country, what they do, they hunt you down like a dog. And they'll pay informants to catch you or set you up and do a lot of different things, and that's how they roll. Jamaica, as I said before, I'm conflicted because I know people like this in our system can wreak havoc on our country. And what's equally scary is that we have a very lax security system where money buys everything. You understand? People are paid for kill people, people are paid for this, people are. And we have as a country move away from country first like when my mother did little and them thing they are my parents them we have moved into a capitalistic uh, self-serving country where money talk and money talk you understand so yeah my feeling is is very conflicted uh jamaica is not doing a good job so i can't congratulate them <laughs> you know they're not doing a good job uh this really proves what everybody have been saying about corruption and plutocracy and it's just a, a bad place we in right now as a country straight up straight up so listen my name is countryman remember to click on the next video but let me know what you think about my opinion on this because like i said we in a bad place as jamaicans and uh, you know uh it's a powder king it, it's a ticking time bomb it's a free for all you know locks set of laws and stuff like that now i said i was gonna talk about the bank of jamaica because they did something i didn't like and I wanted to talk about something else that I can't remember right now. <laughs> but I'm going to drop it. But yeah, I, I want to talk about the Bank of Jamaica in, in one of my next videos. And, and those money notes that they printed. So, I'll catch up with you guys on the next video. And uh, big up to everybody. Big up to all the subscribers. Country girl, Arizona boss, truck boss, everybody. My name is Countryman. Peace.